wrong button when I thought I did. Oops. Oops. So, good afternoon, everybody. We haven't even hit the road yet for our camping trip that was supposed to start at noon, and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I told you. I know. Blake told me. He was like, that's not gonna happen. We are not getting out of this house by noon, ready to go on our trip. It never does. We got everybody packed up. Look, look at how cute this dog is right now. She's like, I just love you. We got the, the bed all packed in blankets. I know, it's so full. I'm so glad we have that time to cover. We got the kitty over here. She's a little bit unsure about this whole trip. We're actually on our way to Costco right now because we still have to get a tent. The one thing we need is a tent and we don't have a tent. But we're going to Costco, we're gonna buy a tent and then we will finally hit the road. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Are you ready? Oh, ready. I'm ready Wait, for all I'm already in the car though. Look at it. Look at the mountain goat things. What What are they? I think they're mountain goats or There's something billy goats? Like, Is that a billy goat? I don't know if that's a billy goat. We're actually driving through Zion right now, actually on accident because our map was like, you should drive through Zion and we didn't realize we were driving, through, like that was the route we were taking until we were like up on the gate and it was like, oh. I guess we're going through Zion on the way to our campground. She's like, what are we doing? Yeah. After the first like 15, uh, half hour of mm -hmm. driving, she calms down. Because she doesn't go on road trips a whole lot, and so when she does, she's like, oh my god, am I dying? And then she realizes she's fine. And meanwhile, Noelle is always fine. Yeah, she's always happy. How's it feel to be at our campsite? Cold. Cold. I just got to the campsite. It's literally like 12.30 at night. We got started so late. Or 10 that we got. You're supposed to be able to put it up in 60 seconds. So let's see if that actually happens. We did it. We got it all set up. It didn't take a minute though. Blake's being a perfectionist with the stakes. We got all kinds of space. <gasps> Look at all this space we have. I think this tent is technically a five person tent. There's enough space for the puppy and the kitty and us. And it's just, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. We finally got into our tent. Like, I'm sitting out. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? All we have to do really is like brush your teeth and crawl into bed and like, you know, we're set. We still haven't told you guys where we are, but it's not really worth telling you until tomorrow morning when it's daylight. So this is our setup for the cat. We just have her kind of tied up to a pole. And while it's tied up to her little rope too. So that way everybody can within reason. So anyway, it is the morning time here. And look at this beautiful view. You can't really Hello. see anything yet because it's a little bit misty. Hello. But it's going to be such a beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we've already done that, haven't we? I don't know. I don't remember what I vlogged this morning. Oh, okay. Water? Cool. Water. Copy. OJ. We drank about the same amount on all of these. Yeah, How no. weird is that? <laughs> it just goes on forever. It does. We haven't told them where we are yet either. Oh yeah. You have to guess. We'll get we'll get there. When we start driving, I think it'll become more obvious. Yeah. We are at a diner right now, getting some food. We would have made a campfire and I packed bacon and eggs. Oh yeah. But we don't have firewood. We forgot to bring firewood. So we're yeah. like <laughs> It's okay, we'll just go to a diner. So we went to a diner today. Yeah, packing up a tent and sleeping bags are, is never the same as when you unpack them. And it's always a huge fail, isn't yeah. it? But now, for tonight, we know how to set it up. It, I bet you we could do it in a minute tonight. Maybe, yeah. Hopefully it won't be pitch black out at like basically midnight and people snoring next to us. I felt so bad. I did too. Easier camping though. You don't expect to get a lot of sleep. We went to bed at like... It was like 1.30. Yeah, it was like 1.30, right? 1.30, which actually, looking back on it, is not that bad, because no. in our heads, that's about 12.30 our time, too. It was cold. It was we should cold. get another blanket, probably. Because what we were doing originally, like, you, don't, you can usually zip together sleeping bags, right? But we couldn't figure it out with this. 
So we unzip both of them and just like laid them like sandwiched in between them. But that did not work. It was so cold. Yeah, and Noelle kept trying to get under. Yeah, she like, would go under and then come out the other side and like was super confused. Yeah. We ended up just zipping them like together, like uh, single sleeping bags, like they normally were. And we slept like that. I was still cold. Then. Yeah, I was pretty night. cold, yeah. My feet especially, like I would slowly throughout the night start inching up and curl into a little ball yeah. to be warm. And then I would need to stretch. And when you stretch out, yeah, after, it's, all freezing. it's freezing yeah. in like the spots that you didn't have your feet before. Yeah. So this is breakfast this morning. We got some omelets. I got just like a veggie omelet with some hash browns too. And Blake got kind of a similar thing, but his has ham in it and like a green chili sauce and some toast. Oh, here's the little adventure kitty. She's like ignoring me. She's like, you humans put up, put me up with so much, so many shenanigans and I just can't take it. And meanwhile, Noel is just straight chilling. <laughs> Blake is in the back. He is actually getting us water um, because we don't have water in the cab. And I just put my contacts in. We are going to hit the road here in just a second. I'm kind of researching where the best routes are to drive. We're not going to be spending a ton of time in this area. We're actually going somewhere else today. I'm, I, I want to do a couple scenic drives before we actually like hit the road for tonight. Oh, look at that. Is that not the most pretty thing you've ever seen? Do you guys know where we are? That's a pretty classic shot. Monument Valley, which is in Navajo Nation on the border of Utah and Arizona. These mesas, these buttes, whatever you want to call them, they're basically huge blocks of sandstone. This whole area used to be a basin. After years and years and years of like sandstorms and like wind and everything, it's shaped these little, well, mesas into these amazing landscapes. And this is like the stereotypical western scene. These mesas have been photographed and been put in video so much since like the beginning of film basically to be the stereotypical when you think of the American West this is what you think of yeah. and it is seriously so incredible. They are so beautiful and they're huge. The, the shortest ones are 400 feet tall. The tallest ones are over a thousand feet tall and they are just so beautiful. And I'm so glad that we made the drive out here. Where else are we going today? Moab. Moab, Utah. From Monument Valley, which is where we are right now, the drive to Moab is only about three, three and a half hours, I think. From Las Vegas to Monument Valley, that drive is roughly like six and a half-ish hours, and it took us forever to get on the road yesterday. M-O-A-B. Okay. Please proceed to the highlighted route. So we are hitting the road. We are on our way to Moab. We'll actually be able to like set up our tent if we find a campground that isn't taken because we looked it up and all of them were kind of first come first serve. So hopefully there's some that are available and if that's the case, then we'll just be able to set up our tent during the daylight and have it all ready to go. Nice. It's gonna be great.
look at this ancient device. Blake, what is it? I've never seen one of that. What is it? What does it do? I wonder when the last time that was picked up was. We are in Bluff, Utah for a potty break, but also I always like looking at the billboards in like little towns like this. We're in the middle of nowhere. Check it out. We're getting <coughs> necessities. Okay, so we just got to our second campground of the weekend. I don't remember what this campground is actually called, but I do know we are like two minutes away from Moab, which is the town that's over this way. And we're also right at the base of Arches National Park, which is right through there. And we're getting here in the daylight, which is already winning in my book. Blake's actually going to the bathroom right now. I am going to start setting up the tent here in just a minute and kind of unloading stuff in the truck. And then we're gonna take the pets out and get them settled. And um, depending on timing, we're probably gonna run back to town and get like charcoal and stuff because tonight I can cook in this. Check it out, we got the tent is all set up. We got the creatures out and about. Um, not a minute, but it took me like maybe five minutes. But you're also by yourself. I know. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? What are you doing, baby? Trying to, Trying to what? In and out. Get some garbage. A little dirty. That's what happens when you go on road trips and go camping. What are we doing? Going to Arches. Going to Arches National Park. Moab is just south of Arches National Park. And Arches National Park is only about four miles north of Moab, and it's like seriously like two miles from our campground it's like yeah. right next to our campground which is fantastic we're going to just do a little quick drive through arches national park obviously not the entire park because that would take forever a little you know sightseeing a little bit arches national park is home to over 2,000 natural sandstone arches it contains the highest density of natural arches in the world it's a good time to visit too because it's about four o'clock so i feel like most of like it should be winding down the touristy day. Hopefully. So hopefully it won't be as busy to see all these people leaving. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Who knows, maybe maybe if there's something else that we're gonna see, like maybe we wanna see something else tomorrow morning, we'll probably get up early, pack up our stuff, and we can do that and then head on out. Because mm -hmm. tomorrow is Sunday, unfortunately, and we have to work on Monday. Oh. Yeah, back to day shift. Back to day shift. Okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> Gotta get back to the old grind on Monday, but for now, we're going to Arches. Yeah. Go, okay. Right. Cool, thank you very right. much. Thank you. We were gonna go see Delicate Arch, but the road is flooded, and so he said that they're closing down the road because they don't know how much higher it's gonna get, water level wise. So instead, all we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try tomorrow instead because we're staying the night in Moab anyway. So we're just gonna try tomorrow and um, see if we can see it because Delican Arch is like the most famous arch in Arches National Park. It would be kind of a shame to not be able to see it. So um, we'll just try tomorrow. So in the meantime, we're gonna go back to the campground and start cooking some food. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you ready for burgers? Yes. Do you want bacon on yes. your burger? Do you want cheese? Yes. Oh, yeah. I can do all of those things. All right. All right. Nope. You're Kitty's helping. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells like childhood. Like when we used to have barbecues. Yes. 
So we got the briquettes going right now. And then we also have, there's like a couple things that I'm gonna throw directly into the briquettes instead of cooking right on top. So we have two sweet potatoes, which should cook up really, really nicely. And also an onion, which I think will be really, really good. Like get kind of, not caramelized, but kind of like that melty and delicious to throw on burgers. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, so we have that. And then also, let's see what else we have over here. I brought some garlic, some salt and pepper, and then we have our meat, some bacon that I'm gonna cook for the burgers as well, and then basic burger stuff, pretty much. It's seven o'clock now. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty, puppy, burgers. Burgers are going. What about me? Hi. <laughs> burgers are going, more importantly. Look at the bacon. The bacon actually looks so Yeah, it looks good. really good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know if these are going to be edible. This Why? was an experiment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It kind of keep... got stuck, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, just need to keep cooking. Yep. Oh, it's looking real good, though. Yep. These are on now. So that means the burgers are done. Mmm. This is the grilled onion that I threw directly mm -hmm. onto the stove. And then these. Sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato right there. That was thrown directly on. You just wrap them in foil and you stick them directly in the briquettes. Mm -hmm. And you just cook them while you cook everything else. Yes. And oh my god. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, this one's like gooey and delicious. Oh, yeah. For you. Yeah. We got sweet potato. Ooh. And then we have those vegetables. Mm -hmm. Veggies are cooking. We have a whole meal. Okay. Is that better? Kind of. It just needs to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> How would you sleep last night? I slept like the dead except at <laughs> 3 in the morning. What are you doing? At 3 in the morning I had a reverse sneeze attack and freaked mom and dad out. And somebody screamed. I was freaking out. I, I know. know. You were like, like ah. We're gonna throw our clothes on. How would you sleep last night? Actually, I didn't sleep too bad. I just kept waking up a couple times. Yeah, see, I actually slept way better last night than I did oh, the way first better. night. Way better. We are going to throw some clothes on and um, hit the road here in just a little bit. We have to pack up, but then we'll do it. So, guys, this is really, really cool, actually. In the truck, it has this, like, I don't know what it's we would call like it. It's headliner stuff, but it... it it's just the right texture. It's okay for Belco. Like this, this is my name tape from like my OCPs uh -huh. for deploy deployments. And I, I think I've used this one, which is why it sticks really well on this one. It's just the right texture that you can get patches and stick it to the roof of your car. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of what we want to do. Like we have patches all through here, like places we go with the truck and everything and just like stick it all along here. Yeah. And so we are currently in Arches National Park and I think okay. we're going to stop again. We're going to see if we can, we can visit the Delicate Arch because that's like the most famous arch that's in here but then on the way out we are going to stop at the visitor center and see if we can get a patch to maybe yeah. like stick up here maybe like a moab sticker or something yeah how fun would that be, That'd be It's pouring. We have a Yep. We have a big thunderstorm going on right now, which is always so exciting. We are officially home now also, in case you couldn't tell. We had such an amazing weekend camping and like exploring and doing so many fun things that I feel like we've been talking about for such a long time that we haven't actually been able to like do. And it felt so good to get out this weekend and like do those things. I'm so excited. I know that this vlog is also super lengthy by now, so I'm just going to make this super, super quick. For today's question of the day, if you could spend a certain chunk of time outside exploring some place in the world, where would you want to explore the most? Where do you most want to experience the outdoors, like go camping or just experience in general? Let me know in the comments down below, where are the places that you most want to go and experience? And on a completely unrelated side note, a lot of you guys mentioned in the last vlog that my makeup might be expired, um, which is why I had such a big allergic reaction after wearing it and that is entirely likely. So I'm going to be throwing away a lot of my makeup and um, just starting fresh, which I'm actually looking forward to 
doing. It's been a while and I've needed to do that for a while anyway. So thanks for the heads up. Totally gonna do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye.